Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on reversed Carnot cycle. So first I will read what is the given problem. 1.5 kW per ton of refrigeration is required to maintain a temperature of minus 40 degree Celsius in the refrigerator. If the refrigeration cycle works on Carnot cycle determine the following. Coefficient of performance of the cycle, temperature of the sink, heat rejected to the sink per ton of refrigeration, heat supplied and EPR if the cycle is used as a heat pump. So this was the given question. Let us first understand what is the given data and which factors we have to find out. So if we observe the given data here, the 1.5 kilowatt is required for the one ton of refrigeration that means 1.5 kilowatt work is supplied for the one ton of refrigeration so what is the work supplied that is wr we can say it is 1.5 kilowatt now it is required to convert it into the kilojoule because heat absorbed and heat rejected we have to uh, say in the kilojoule per minute or kilojoule per second. So what is the kilowatt? Kilowatt means we know what is the watt. Watt is equal to joule per second. So kilowatt is equal to kilojoule per second. So we can write this term 1.5 kilojoule per second. Now we will convert this term in the kilojoule per minute. So how to convert it? So in one second this amount of work is 1.5 kilojoule. So what is the amount in 1 minute? So for 1 minute that means for 60 seconds. So for 60 seconds what is the amount? So here is the cross multiplication. So we will say that 1.5 into 60 kilojoule per minute. So here is 90 kilojoule per minute is the amount of work that is supplied to the system. Now we will move for the next that is the amount of refrigeration. So in this uh, refrigeration cycle where the refrigeration process is taking place so if we observe this is the lower temperature reservoir and this is the higher temperature reservoir and the amount of heat is getting absorbed from this lower temperature reservoir or we can say the cold body so this at temperature t1 the amount of heat is getting absorbed that is q1 and this amount of heat is getting absorbed this is same we will say Q1 and this amount is given that is 1 ton of refrigeration. So what is the 1 ton of refrigeration? So we have to convert it into the kilojoule per minute. So 1 ton of refrigeration is equal to 210 kilojoule per minute. So we have to write here or we have to consider this value for the calculation. Now the temperature for this lower temperature reservoir or we can say cold body is given. So we have to maintain this cold body at minus 40 degree Celsius. That means we have to maintain the temperature T1 is equal to minus 40 degree Celsius. So we will convert it into the Kelvin. That is minus 40 plus 273 which is equal to 233 Kelvin. So this is the given data. Now we will move for the what factors we have to find out. So first we have to find out coefficient of the cycle so we have to find out what is the coefficient of performance for this refrigeration cycle so we have the formula so we can say that this amount q1 divided by work supplied because what amount of heat is getting absorbed divided by work supplied or work supplied to the system so q1 by wr is the formula then the next is temperature of the sink now in this refrigeration cycle where is the sink so here the main we have to concentrate on this cold body so from the cold body heat is getting absorbed and it is rejected to the higher temperature reservoir at temperature T2. So this is the sink where is the heat is getting rejected that means this is called a sink. So we have to find out temperature of the sink that means temperature T2 we have to find out. Then the next is heat rejected to the sink. Now heat rejected that means here Q2. So Q2 is getting rejected. So we have to find out what is the heat rejected to the sink. Now the next is heat supplied and 
EPR that means energy performance ratio of the heat pump. So when the same system is used as a heat pump then what is the heat supplied? So within these two temperatures or within the same temperature if we consider this system as a heat pump then the formula will be same that is this Q1 will be amount of heat absorbed will be same amount of heat rejected will be the same. So we have to find out what is the heat supplied. So heat supplied that is Q2 that we have to find out. So that will be same as the refrigeration. And what is the energy performance ratio? So energy performance ratio that is coefficient of performance. So this coefficient of performance for the pump we have to find out. So there are two ways to find out this coefficient of performance we can directly use this formula that is q2 by wp or we can say that what is the cop p is equal to cop r plus 1 so this is the relation in between coefficient of performance of pump and this refrigeration cycle that means we can simply find out cop p or this energy performance ratio is equal to cop r plus 1 so this is very simple. So let us move for the calculations. Now we will move for the first question. So what is the first question? That is coefficient of performance of the cycle. So coefficient of performance for this refrigeration cycle COPR is equal to Q1 by WR. So this is the formula because here what is the amount of heat is getting absorbed from this cold body that is important and what is the work supplied. So here WR amount of work is supplied. So if we observe in the given data Q1 is there as well as WR is also there. So we have to simply put the values. Now we have to make concentration on the unit. So here the unit should be same. So here both is having unit kilojoule per minute. So we will take here 210 divided by 90 which is equal to 2.33. So this is the coefficient of performance. Now we will move for the next temperature of the sink. That means temperature of this sink T2 that we have to find out. So we can write this formula Q1 by WR. So what is this WR? So WR is the difference in between these two q2 and q1 that is q2 minus q1 now this q1 is related to temperature t1 and q2 is related to temperature t2 so instead of q1 and q2 we can use here the temperature t1 and t2 because if we observe this temperature entropy diagram this temperature t1 so here is the process 4 to 1 and for this t4 to t1 the heat is getting absorbed because how the heat is getting absorbed or rejected that means there is the change in entropy. So in the process 4 to 1 there is the change in entropy that means here the entropy is getting increased. So when the entropy is getting increased when the heat is getting absorbed. So here the heat is getting absorbed that means we can say that for the Q 4 to 1. That is the amount of heat that is getting absorbed. So here we will say that Q1. And that this process is taking place at temperature T1. And here T1 is equal to T4. Now in the same way heat is getting rejected. That is Q2. So if we observe here is also in the process 2 to 3. The change in entropy. That means the entropy is getting decreased. That means the heat is getting rejected. So here q2 to 3 which is equal to we can say that that is the amount of heat is getting rejected at, and it is at temperature t2 and here t2 is equal to t3 so this is the temperature t2 so we can write this formula as t1 divided by now wr is q2 minus q1 so we can say t2 minus t1 so here is the formula now we know what is the t1 that is 233 so here it is given in the data and copr that is we have calculated now only unknown term is t2 so from this we can calculate so t2 is equal to 333 kelvin now the next is heat rejected to the sink so what is the heat rejected so heat rejected that means q2 so q2 is equal to now q2 minus q1 is equal to wr that means q2 is equal to q1 plus wr so what is the Q1? So if we observe here Q1 is equal to 210 because it is given and WR 
that means it is also given in the data that is 90 so here 300 kilojoule per minute so this is the answer now the next question is heat supplied and epr if this cycle is used as a pump so when this cycle is used as a heat pump then there will be the temperature for the cold body and hot body there will be the same temperature limits and same work is getting supplied so the difference will be same so at this temperature and if the same amount of work is getting supplied to the system then the heat rejected or heat supplied that is q2 will be same so we can write this q2 is equal to 300 kilojoule per minute if this system will be worked as a pump and what is the EPR that is the energy performance ratio of the heat pump so instead of Q1 here is the difference we have to take the Q2 so Q2 means 300 divided by WP now this WP we can use here there is a WR that is 90 so there are two ways we can either use this formula COP P is equal to Q2 by WP or we can use here EPR that means COP of this pump which is equal to COP R plus 1. So this is the relation in between pump and refrigeration cycle. So COP R plus 1 that is 2.33 plus 1 which is equal to 3.33 and this is the answer.